Now, great state. We're here today to have a ceremonial bill signing for Senate Bill 231, the Student Identification Card Suicide Prevention Act. On our hand are Katrina Sheely, Senator Sheely, and also Representative Annie McDaniel, both much involved in this process. This is a great step forward for our people. We're one of a few states who are, who are doing this, and it is it's progress. Senator? Thank you, Governor. Again, thank you, Governor, and a special thank you to all those who helped bring this to the forefront. Uh, many of you are here with us today. You helped craft this legislation, and you testified before the subcommittee and assisted every step along the way. Um, this act will help save lives. It will put valuable resources directly into the hands of our young people, who oftentimes don't know where to turn in times of personal crisis. Our children are our most precious resources, and if we can save just one life through this act, it will have been well worth it. There is still much work to be done, but I'm confident that this is an important step towards our goal of zero suicides in South Carolina. I would now like to turn it over to Dr. Ken Rogers, Director of the South Carolina Department of Mental Health and my co-chair on the State Suicide Prevention Coalition. Dr. Rogers. Thanks, Senator Sheely. I really appreciate it. Um, I'd just really like to thank the governor, the legislature, for actually getting us here today. On the surface, this looks like a bill that's just a number on the back of an ID card. But in reality, it's a lifeline. It's something that young people will be able to look at and get a chance to actually know there's a number I can call to get help. Suicide's the second leading cause of death in the United States for um, kids 10 to, 10 to 24 years of age. And having this bill in place will give us a place that kids can call. When we look at minority communities especially, especially African Americans, we see the numbers going up with suicide exponentially. With the LGBTQ community, a kid dies every 45 seconds in the United States. And so I think this will actually drive that ability to get help home. As we look at the pandemic, we see an increase in anxiety, depression, other mental health issues that are really driving suicide in our country. And if you look around, most emergency departments are actually seeing a 30% increase in kids coming in for mental health issues. So we're just grateful to have this one additional way of getting in touch with care. Even right now, the Department of Mental Health is doing a number of things, including our SC Hopes line, um, which of course will roll into this, 1-844-SC Hopes, will allow kids to actually call and get help. Um, we have school mental health programs in all of our schools here in South Carolina. 70% um, of those are manned by the Department of Mental Health. And so having this number on the back of a card will be the first stage in allowing a kid to get, get help. Um, the partner that we have had in doing this for a number of years with being able to answer the calls that have come in has been Mental Health America Greenville. And we have their executive director, um, Jennifer Piver, here today with us. And I'll turn it over to her. Thanks. <laughs> I too would like to thank um, the state, the legislature, the Department of Mental Health, and everybody who supported this bill. On the way up here, I had the pleasure of w driving with two of the founders of Teens for Hope. And we spent time talking about this bill. And I thought about all of the statistics, like Dr. Rogers said, that it's the second leading cause of death for our youth. But they put it in words that probably are better than what I could have put it in. And they shared that the hopelessness, the isolation, the uncertainty of where to go was a real issue for them and their peers. And that what this bill is doing is it's really genuinely representing that the adults cared and that they heard and valued what they were experiencing, that they valued that they were struggling, that they were isolated, that they were alone, and that they knew that when that number is put on their ID cards that it's accessible, it's a vetted resource, the National Lifeline follows best practices. It's something they knew they could trust versus just Googling online and hoping to find someone helpful. And they, they most importantly knew that you cared. And I just wanted to make sure that you all knew that. 
Uh, as the director of the Lifeline in South Carolina, we know that the call volume is rising. The risk factors that the youth are experiencing are higher, and the callers are getting younger. But this bill truly tells our youth that you care, and that is immensely valuable, and I know that it will save lives. So thank you for all of your support, and um, we look forward to being a uh, the resource for the state that answers that phone number and being able to share the other valuable resources in the community like mobile crisis and some other services that we work together with because after answering the call the next thing is where do they go for the hands-on help and we're the folks in South Carolina that know how to network to all of these great folks and get them the real hands-on help that they need so Thank you again for publishing that 10 digit number. It will save lives. And I thank you and turn it over to the Lieutenant Governor. Thank you. Well, thank you all for coming out today. Senator Sheely, thank you. And to all the legislature for getting it across the finish line. But Jennifer, thank you. I had the honor of going to see um, our one call in suicide prevention center here in South Carolina and the work they do there is invaluable. You know, I am so honored to be the Lieutenant Governor, but the best job I've ever been given is the job of being a mom. And so with three children, I can tell you that the pressures of society are even stronger now than they've ever been and what our children have to face. And unfortunately, as parents, sometimes we are the last people that our children come to because they're embarrassed or ashamed. And so having that number helps us as parents too. Letting our children know that there is a place they can reach out to to get good, safe advice, um, you know, and the encouragement to come and talk to their parents and seek help is just invaluable. So uh, thank you to the governor for your leadership and for signing this. You know, we are all parents and we have to be in the fight together. So thank you all for believing it's important and thank you all for what you do every day for our use because as Senator Sheely said, they are our most precious resource given to us by God and we all need to do everything we can to come together and protect them. So again, thank you all for being here today. Well, this is another example of how we can make progress and make things better when we communicate, collaborate, and cooperate, public and private. It happens every, every time it, wor it is used, it works. Does anyone have a question? Anyone have another question? <laughs> All right, in that case, let's sign it. Sir, a moment. Thank you. 